Hi, my name is Adrian Hall. I'm a mixer, engineer and producer, and I'm going to do uh, a short little video for you about the Austrian Audio uh, OC818 microphone and the Polar Designer plugin that I've used together. OK, so um, the second example we'll talk about um, is a string recording that I did uh, not that long ago. Um, so I've got to be careful what I say about the project because it's not been released yet. Um, I've got permission to use it, obviously. Um, so it was a 10 piece string section uh, recorded in a, a studio under COVID restrictions, interestingly enough. So everybody had to be spaced further apart than they normally are. Um, so I used uh, a pair of OC18s as the main stereo pair. Um, and then I had a center mic, um, which was the OC818. Um, so it's kind of like a modified Decca tree, if you know what that is. Um, partly because this section was more spread out than it would usually be. So I kind of wanted to make sure I captured the edges with the wide stereo pair and then had a center mic to pick up the main body of the strings. And also because the concept of the album was um, to have only strings and vocals. So I wanted a hyper exaggerated string sound to get that kind of width, but then I needed space in the middle to be able to put a vocal in there. So again, having that center OC818 microphone um, was very useful because uh, I could kind of make sure that it wasn't swamping the vocal um, and and also still support and not have the strings feel too hollow in the middle. Um, but because the OC818 has the polar pattern, I captured both uh, capsules. So I can show you what I was doing with feeding that in to make the string sound fuller and more solid in the middle. So just the main stereo pair, OC18s. Okay, so that same section, this is the center mic, which is the OC818. I'm just going to play it in Omni for the minute, um, which is not how I had it in the mix. Um, I actually changed it to figure eight in the mix, but we'll show you why and what that does to the sound. So just um, in Omni, that same section, just the mono center microphone. Okay, so let's put the two together and I'll start, I've got a fader over here, which is the OC818, the center microphone. So let me start with just the main stereo pair and I'll fade in the 818. And you can see how, hopefully you'll hear how uh, it brings up the whole middle picture of the, of the strings in the stereo balance. Okay, so now let's do the same thing. And the process I went through in the mix was just to have it quite loud and play with the balance and the polar patterns to see what I like the sound of. So let's start in Omni like we just did. So you can hear it's quite a different kind of string sound with um, particularly between the Omni and the figure eight. The figure eight adds a low to low end, bottom end to the sound, which I really liked. Not only fills out the center of the picture, but actually adds a kind of weight to the whole sound.
So that sounds pretty good to me there. Um, kind of about 10 dB down from the main pair. Um, and then in the mix, I did very little actually. Uh, there's a couple of other plugins, a little bit of tape emulation, a little bit of Fairchild again, not doing much. Tiny bit of EQ. You can see 3 dB at the bottom, 3 dB at the top. That's all kind of little smiley face. Um, tiny bit of soothe and a tiny bit of reverb. And it was actually double tracked. So the final, the actual finished string sound is something like this. So yes, you can hear that, um, hopefully, that the 818 was a m massive contributing factor to the kind of middle of that image, and it re sits under the vocal and reinforces it. Um, and I'm able to vary that, obviously, in the mix, um, just by pulling the level of the 818 in and out, keep the main stereo pair as they were. And when I needed more reinforcement, that can obviously be ridden as well. It doesn't have to be a static balance through the whole mix. You can, you can ride it when there's not a vocal there. You can turn it up a bit, so you get more of the strings in the middle and then drop it back when the vocal's there and being able to change the sound of the mic um, the quality of sound from the microphone rather um, after the fact is is just brilliant well i hope that shows some of the possibilities of the uh, oc818 microphone and the austrian audio polo designer plugin working together uh, in a kind of real world context <laughs>